One of the other features that you have access to is the ability to create your own block lists. These are in addition to the sites that Henderson County Public Schools is already blocking. This is helpful if you have a particular website your students are abusing or overusing during your class session and you need them to stay focused on your content. So you can create block lists. To do that, you're going to go to web links and you'll find the block lists tab. So if you have a website that you want to add to your block list, you will click create. You will type in the name and the description. This will create your list. So maybe I'm going to call this first period block list. Once you've named it, then you're going to add the um, websites in that you want to block during your class. Notice that you have the ability to add from recently closed. So if you have gone into a student's tabs and actually closed one, those will be appearing there. So let's say my students are really abusing addictinggames.com during my class instead of focusing. So I don't have to put in anything, but I can put notes if I want to, and I can click Save. So now my blocked URL includes addicting games, and this is part of my first period block list. And you'll notice you can do multiple block lists. So if you need to create a different set for a different class, you can do that as well, or you can just use them in general. It just depends on how you want to use them. Again, this is in addition to whatever else the county is already blocking. So you'll notice in my teacher tools, I can see my students' devices. So now if I have a student that wants to go to Addicting Games, they will get a looks like this page isn't allowed. And so that page will come up and it says it goes against your school's online rules. And so that shows that they can't go to that site. Um, if you don't want to use your blocked sites, you can of course remove them, but this does give you a little bit of, of help to be able to keep students focused on instruction while you're running your class. If you do want to be able to use your block list, when you go to start a class, you'll want to make sure to choose your, the Enforce block, block List dropdown, choose your list, and then click Start. This has to be done when starting the class. All of your block lists will show up. 